Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Right off the bat on the old show today, a brand new member to the Motor Cars Enthusiast family, and it's this little guy. This is the wee baby Joseph. Joseph was born in the first part of December of last year, so he's just a touch over a month old. Was born to my friend Nick and my sister Amanda. Little Joe's just a month old, and being an uncle is pretty doggone fantastic. In fact, Joe is the brand new boss of the show, so there may be some sweeping changes coming soon. The folks over at the Jeep organization, in fact, Jeep and Ram have really been propping up money-wise the Fiat Chrysler Automobiles organization. But the head of the Fiat Chrysler Automobiles actually said that Jeep, he had a little plan for him to build a million units in the year of 2014, which they succeeded on. Now he wants to up that to 1.9 million units being built for the year of 2015, which has re-sparked the rumors that there may be room in the portfolio for this particular machine, a pickup truck edition of the Wrangler. Now you can actually get one right now, thanks to the folks over at the Mopar Group. They actually built a conversion kit for this deal. In fact, this particular machine I found on my local Jeep lot really fell in love with it, but boy, oh boy, $45,000 for a Jeep Wrangler? Boy, they're not cheap anymore like they used to be. Fantastic piece of kit. Be very exciting to see a production version of one of these machines, hopefully coming soon. The folks over at BMW were showing off the brand new X3 and its bigger brother being the X4 at the Detroit Motor Show. If you like these machines but want a little bit more performance in your diet, guess what? BMW has already announced that they're going to build M editions of both of these machines, so I cannot wait to report on what kind of hot rods are going to be coming out of Bavarian Motor Works soon. The folks over at Land Rover are saying goodbye to an old friend, one of the best off-roaders that they have in their unit, That's which is kind of probably saying something, being they're all off-roaders pretty much, but the Land Rover Defender is going to be saying goodnight after the year 2015 as it'll exit stage left. But the folks over at Land Rover are sending it out with a bang with three special edition models that are going to be sold over the next year. One of those being the Defender Heritage Edition. Now, only 400 of these are going to be built at a price of just a touch under 28,000 pounds sterling. Now, you can go with the Adventure Edition, which only 600 of those are going to be built at a cost of just a touch over 43,000 pounds sterling. Or you can get the rare one, the Anniversary Edition, or I should say the Autobiography Edition. That's a little better. The Autobiography Edition is going to only have 80 units to be sold of this particular machine at a price of just a touch under 62,000 pounds sterling. No word yet on whether any one of these vehicles is going to be coming stateside. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we may see that, but we'll have to wait and see what comes of that in the future. But a fond farewell to a fantastic off-roading machine. Next up on the list, Volkswagen is showing off the brand new Golf R. In fact, there's a launch edition. The first 500 units are going to have a special edition, and they're getting ready to head to their brand new homes. In fact, they opened up the order banks on this machine, this machine having a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, making 292 brake horsepower and 280 pounds-feet of torque. Now, that's shifted through a DSG gearbox with 0-60 to 60 sprints coming in at 3.9 seconds. Now, the cost of all this fun comes in at $39,090 U.S. dollars with $820 U.S. dollars for destination fees. Now, like I said, that first 500 were a launch edition, special edition model that only comes in this particular color. And you do get a couple of cool little doodads come with it, including an R-branded watch and a pair of R-branded uh, keychains, one being stainless, one being carbon fiber. Now, you had to lay down 500 bucks to be a part of that first 500 but it did not take long. People opened up their wallets and that first 500 units sold out in less than 12 hours. But the beautiful thing is, is if you think you lost, you missed the boat on this deal, that 500 bucks is refundable. So if somebody steps out, you better put your money in now in case you can slide in if somebody backs out of buying the brand new Golf R. Speaking of Volkswagen and its bigger, bigger, bigger brother, the brand new Polo WRC edition took off the official wraps of this machine over the past couple of days. 
going to go after their defense of the 2014 World Rally Championship champions, in fact, as far as manufacturers and drivers as well. And in fact, that fight's going to be starting off in just a couple of days. In fact, January 22nd, 2015, I should say, will be the official launch of the Rally Monte Carlo. Cannot wait. Hoping they put together a little TV package here stateside, but I'm not got my fingers crossed, but I'm sure I'm hoping. And, well, let's check in back with Joe to see what he thought of his first show under the new management. And, oh, Joe, you know what? Uh, most of these shows are really terrible. You probably should probably get used to that. They're, they're always this bad, but sorry. This may be my last show now. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. If you want to be a part of the Facebook page, the link's down in the show notes. You can like us over there. We'd appreciate it. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time. Get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.